Hello and welcome to another bad comic review. This time we're looking at Sonatus issue one. This is part of a three part limited series from Alterna Comics from 2018. We start out with a guy named Ben traipsing through the swamps and he comes across this house that he used to party at when he was a kid. It's this old decrepit rundown house that him and his friends used to go to and he's kind of reminiscing as he walks through these dilapidated rooms that are still sort of furnished but with all this beat up stuff he goes to the kitchen and finds a bunch of like old plates and old bottles there's a cooler there that's got a bunch of bottles in it and he's kind of having these reminiscings when suddenly he hears a slam so he goes to check it out says hello nobody responds figures it's kids and then he sees these eyeballs and he, he's grabbing his head like he's hearing it too but he sees these eyeballs on this creature and it's chasing him it's this real weird abstract looking monster very lovecraftian and he can't get the windows open doors won't respond to him but he grabs a knife and it fights with it and he seems to stab it to death and he looks at his hands after throwing the knife away but there's nothing there and he seems to be hallucinating well he walks around a little more and has a flashback when he sees a sneaker he has a flashback to a party that apparently happened here and he got into it with one of his friends there's no talking so we're we have a very abstract sense of this flashback as well and he kissed a girl and obviously something happened probably some sexy time but he's uh, trying to face his past and he goes toward the second floor of the house and that's where the issue ends. Now obviously there's a lot of visual metaphors here. The title of the issue is Floor 1 of 3. So he's going to go all the way up to the third floor by the third issue. And he's coming to terms with something bad that happened in the past. And this creature is probably a metaphor. He talks about having tinnitus like a r the ringing in the ears. And it's something about that. And that's probably a reminder of something like a guilt kind of thing that's haunting him i don't know but it's pretty interesting uh the art uh i didn't hate it uh it was interesting it was by uh, cecilia lovalvo the story is by cody sosa and dan shepherd colors by d Kanifi, edits by nicole airy i have to say the story is very intriguing the art style really does work for it uh it's this real uh heavy line pencil work it's very abstract but it does work for it because everything is supposed to seem kind of abstract from what i'm gathering and i'm real intrigued to see where it goes it was a real quick read because there's actually not a lot of words in here it's a very quiet book and the visuals are really driving the narrative and it's really making the most of the comic medium so i really like that so i'm gonna go ahead and recommend this and say check it out because Alterna does some good stuff. And this really seems like it's going to be a really interesting book. thought it was a really interesting story. Probably not for everyone. There's some horror elements. But I don't think it's actually a horror book. I think it's more psychological than that. More of a thriller. But there's this weird kind of abstract eyeball monster. With like a Cthulhu type body. And it takes place all in this house in the middle of the swamp. Uh, off the edge of town. That should have been bulldozed and burned down a long time ago but nope i'd recommend checking it out that's kind of where we're at with it there's really not a lot to say about this issue so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up there that'll do it for this one as always thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel and be sure to hit like share and subscribe and hopefully we'll see you on the next one